Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out the Tesman clamp meter. We're going to go ahead and run it through its paces and see if it actually performs as well as my ideal clamp meter. So uh, let's go ahead and open up the TCM300D. Alright, when you first open up the clamp meter, here's what you should expect. Look at that. Nice carrying case. Looks like it comes with three uh, AAA Duracell batteries, so name brand batteries for the United States. That's always good. Everything's in bags. Kind of gives you that feeling that it's uh, brand new and not used. All right, and this bag is the uh, user's manual and the clamp meter itself. And then this bag is actually strapped in with a strap right here in the middle to keep all your wiring in place. That's kind of nice to have. And it's actually two separate bags. Uh, this one looks to be maybe a temperature temperature probe. And then in this bag you have uh, just your standard probes. You know, your input and your common. And then your probes with the detachable little uh, toppers. So pretty standard stuff for a multimeter. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take off this little plastic... Uh, screen protection right here and then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the batteries in and you can see on the back uh, it just has a little Phillips screwdriver slot right there you unscrew that and you can slide in the batteries now I had a comment a few weeks ago from someone who said you know these now before I say this I want to say that this thing sells I think for around $50 um, on Amazon and that is considered a budget uh, clamp meter. Clamp meters can go uh, into the hundreds very easily. So $50 for this is really good as long as it performs good. But he had a question and it was can you use rechargeable batteries in these clamp meters? And the reason that would actually be a question is because these Duracells, the non-rechargeables, they're 1.5 volts each. But if you put in a rechargeable battery these are only set to 1.2 volts so that lack of voltage really could affect the clamp meter uh, to even power it up so we're going to go ahead and put in these rechargeables first just to see if it'll power it on all right and as soon as i put those rechargeable batteries in it is showing that it was calculating and it actually went ahead and turned on and it gives me this screen right here which says 21 degrees Celsius and auto. So yeah, the rechargeable batteries do work right off the bat. So we'll just go ahead and leave these rechargeables in for this test, unless I start getting uh, measurements that are really off. And then I will put in the other batteries to see if there's any difference. All right, and when I want to purchase a clamp meter, the biggest thing I'm gonna purchase it for is to be able to measure amperage. So let's go ahead and compare the Tesman along with the other two clamp meters that I usually use in my testing. What I have going on right now is I have a 2000 watt Lee Sky inverter connected to a 140 amp hour uh, Red Auto battery. And it is, uh, it's powering a heat gun, which is on high, and it's roughly around 110 amps. That's kind of what the app shows on the Red Auto right there. You can see it. It says 109.6 amps. All right, and also you can see that I have all of my clamp meters all lined up together. And please tell me in the comments if this is a bad example of testing because I don't think they should have any interference between each other. But please go ahead and leave it in the comments if you feel like it does. So this Engage first, it shows 113.7 uh, amps going through this cable. Now the Tesman shows 117 amps going through this cable and then lastly my ideal shows 114 amps going through this cable so you can easily see that the Engage which is showing 114 and the uh, ideal is right around 114 but the Tesman is right around 117 so it's reading you know three amps higher than the other two that I basically use 
And also, I noticed that with the Tesman, if you move it, it depends on where you move it, where you move it in the, on the cable. Like right in the center, it's 114 amps. If you move it all the way to the top, it's 117. And if you move it all the way to the bottom, it's 111. Now, I feel like a clamp meter should be the same no matter what. Let's see what this Angage does. Angage all the way, all the way at the bottom shows 110. In the middle, 116. At the very bottom, 119. And then with my ideal, if you have it at the very bottom, I'm not even holding it, 114. In the middle, 114. At the bottom, 114. So that is a major difference between uh, a clamp meter that's over $100 and uh, a clamp meter that's half the price. All right, the next thing that I want to test is uh, how well these measure voltage on a DC 12 volt battery. And so I'm just going to run all three just to kind of compare them. And the one thing, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and rip on this thing the entire time. The one thing I do like is that the display is very crisp and clean. You can easily read it. Another thing I noticed is when I was putting on these probes, you know, the wires are color coded but the ports themselves are not. So you know have, you, you have to know right off the bat or look in the manual on what color should be COM and what color should be input. You know, it does show on there like, you know, it shows COM as white and input as like a orange, but still they really should color code the, uh, in, the, the ports at the bottom. So that way it's a lot more user friendly. Another thing I like about this, uh, this Tesman clamp meter is that it's a smart meter. So it will, uh, you can have it set to auto right here and it will kind of guess what you're going to be trying to test by either amperage, voltage, uh, resistance, or continuity. So you can just uh, set it on auto and we'll start using these probes and it should know that we're testing voltage. So first of all, the battery says that the voltage is exactly 13.0 volts, and that is straight from the BMS. So I would be surprised if this did say 13, but let's go ahead and test it. All right, and using auto, it shows 12.92 to 12.93, which is very respectable. That is probably, that is probably dead on. So we're gonna go ahead and use these same probes and connect them to another clamp meter, change this one to voltage for DC, turn the light on, and these probes say, yep, 12.93, which is exactly what the Tesman said, and my ideal shows the voltage at 12.94. So all three of those clamp meters are very accurate when it comes to voltage. All right, another thing I like about this clamp meter where you're not going to find on this Angen clamp meter is that it actually has a temperature probe. And if we go ahead and just turn on this heat gun, you can see that right now the probe shows that it's 81.1 degrees Fahrenheit and 27.3 degrees Celsius. So it shows both Fahrenheit and Celsius at the same time. But if you put this probe over the heat, you can see that it will quickly raise up. I mean, it's going over 400 degrees Fahrenheit and it measures it pretty quick. And it always shows Fahrenheit and Celsius. So that is actually a very good tool uh, to measuring your temperatures. All right, so what do I think of the Tesman TCM 300D uh, clamp meter? Well, it's got a lot of features to it. I really like the fact that uh, not only can it do your basic multimeter measurements and it is a clamp meter, you can also check your temperatures and when you're using your amp clamp meter, uh, you can also do your minimum and maximum loads and it will capture those as well. Uh, that is something that's not found on these other uh, budget clamp meters. Uh, I like how the screen is very bright and uh, you can easily read exactly what you're doing. 
Also, it has this auto feature, so it will auto determine whether you're trying to check for amps, volts, uh, resistance, or continuity, which is very nice. I tested the voltage and I did test the resistance and the continuity between the three uh, clamp meters and they all tested exactly the same. When it came to the amp measurements though, uh, I did realize that this one, it seemed like it was off by, you know, two to three amps compared to the other two. Uh, so that was something that was kind of a drawback for me. And also, depending on where the wire was in the clamp, changed the amount of amperage that was being displayed. And that really shouldn't happen. Another gripe I have about this is they don't have color-coded inputs for the probes. Uh, they really need to set their COM to black and their input to red. That way there's no confusion on which probe goes where. So if you have any questions about the Tesman TCM300D clamp meter, uh, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll have a link to this item in my description just in case you want to look further into it. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.